So again, we are an educational research project. We are collecting researcher data um, to um, help to for our research purposes. And because of that, there are some forms and assessments that um, you are required to complete before we get started. So I'm gonna go over those forms and assessments today. Okay, so required forms, there are three required forms. The first one is called a student consent form or it says a student assent form. It looks like this in the top. I wanna really make a note, there was a, there was a note, um, you know, there was a note to parents uh, before the consent forms, but I also wanted to say it now is that the consent forms were written for our original format is where we were supposed to meet students and give them homework support or other kinds of enrichment activities after school in person at their school. But because of the coronavirus pandemic, we're not able to meet anybody in person anymore. So everything has shifted to online. And when, it sh when we shifted it to online, we decided to have individual tutoring sessions or mentor or homework support sessions um, and not do any kind of small group. And that way you get more individualized attention. Uh, you don't really have to share your time and you can ask questions to your homework support mentor. Uh, and you'll, you know, um, you'll get all of that time. You don't have to really share with somebody else in the class. So uh, again, the consent form will say that something about in person and meeting in person after school, but you can ignore all of that. Uh, you will be signing up to meet with someone uh, online on Zoom. Um, and we won't, again, we won't be meeting in person, at least until we have the okay that, you know, it's safe again to do so. So not for, not for a while, we won't be meeting in person. You might be wondering, why do I got to fill out a consent form? I'm just a minor. But uh, we, you know, it's really important for us and as well as for the University of Hawaii at Manoa that even though you are a minor, you're just a student, your parents um, usually sign all the forms. We want to make sure that you know what we're about. This is something that, you know, you want to do and you want to participate in. And so that's why we're getting your consent because we just want to make sure that this is something that you feel is right for you. Yeah. So. We want your permission again to participate. So if you can sign out your consent form, looks like this again. The most important thing is that you check the box. This oftentimes gets missed. You, so if you can check this box, because you're giving us permission to join this research study, uh, you can print your name here. If you have an email address, you can put your email address. You can put your parents' email address. If you have a phone number, you can put your phone number or better yet to put your parents' phone number and then you sign um, at the bottom line. So your parents have a consent form as well. It looks very similar to yours. The most important thing again is to make sure this box is checked that shows that you are giving, your parents are giving you permission to join our research program. Yeah, so, and so make sure that your parents um, complete that form in entirety, fill out all of the information. The last form is a student video uh, release form. And uh, just in case we take a group picture or a uh, picture with your mentors to celebrate that you finished the program or something like that. Uh, so we have a student video release form. You can read through um, the terms. And then if, you're, if you agree, then you can sign your, you can fill out your name, address, phone number. You can probably skip email or you can put your project email, Gmail address, and then sign your name. And on below is a section for your parents to complete. Okay, so required assessment. So we are educational research project. And so we are collecting information um, for about you and about other students uh, like you, other middle schoolers like you who are participating in our, in our research project. Uh, there are two surveys that you are asked to complete before you get started. The first survey is called our student survey. It's on SurveyMonkey. When you click on the link, this should pop up. You should see this. This is the first page. It says Project Beam slash Kapalina Noyal student pre-survey revised. Revised mean because we ch chucked out a few questions so that it's shorter for you. <laughs> Hopefully you'll find that it's not too long. Um, but if you can complete that, that'll be really great. We're going to ask you things about your attitudes towards school and what you think about math and that kind of thing. The other survey that we're gonna we we asked you to complete is called the Midas. 
That stands for the Multiple Intelligence Developmental Assessment Scales. The MIDAS is a pretty cool survey. Um, it's asking you about your interest areas and or and strengths in different areas. So we want to learn more about you. Do you do you have interests or strengths in sports or music or math or creativity? Do you like to build stuff? It goes through eight or nine different areas, maybe more than that. Um, there's also things, questions about like plants and animals. And so um, it's gonna ask you about different questions in different areas. And then after that, you'll get, we get a profile report and it tells us where you think your strengths and where you think you're interested in. Uh, usually at the end of the program, we, can, we send you a copy of your profile report. If you wanna take a look at it earlier, you can send us an email to, the, to our project Gmail address and then we can maybe send it over to you earlier so you can see where you know, your strengths and your interest areas are. So again, those two surveys, please complete them if you haven't done so yet. Uh, and if you need the links or something again, please email us, please email our project and we can send that information over to you again. Okay, so not only do you have a survey, but your parents have a survey. And so you should have got a survey that looks like this in the mail. It's called Scales for Identifying Gifted Students in uh, Home Rating Scales. This is a survey for one of your parents or your guardians to complete, just one. Uh, they only have to do this at the very beginning of our program. We want to learn more about you from their perspective. Sometimes I get asked, um, this survey is for gifted students, and I, do I have to fill it out? And my answer is, Yes, of course you have gifts. Like everybody has gifts. Everybody has a gift that um, needs to just be nurtured for it to come out. Everyone is good at something. We see we all have like different strengths and um, different gifts that through through being in the right environment and through different supports that you know you can make those blossom into something in the future. So yeah, if your parents ask if you have, if they have to fill out the form, or parents, if you're listening, please fill out the form. Uh, a, a question I do get is that um, this is for gifted students. Yeah, we believe that everyone is has a gift. And so if you could fill out the form and so we can get to know your child better, that'd be really helpful to us.